Okay, y'all, for next, look, I was asked the question, BYD, how do you eliminate these mosquitoes, man, without putting down chemicals, all right? I'm, what's in this box, I'm, <laughs> I'm, just every, I'm excited. That's all I can tell you, I'm excited. Came um, by the uh, post office and they dropped it off today. And I wanna open it up and show you what it is. You are going to be amazed at this technology that we have. Stay tuned, guys. Okay, you fanatics. Look, this is like, it's, a, it's an unboxing and <laughs> I'm excited, man. I get excited when I get stuff, man. And I ordered this. Um, you could, I'm gonna put a link in the description for this. You can order it through Amazon. But this is a product that you can use to eliminate uh, killing mosquitoes without having to put spraying chemicals or putting a granular down in your lawn. Now, by the way, I still will be doing that, but this is something that I was asked, actually, I wanna say uh, last season, and I never did respond, but I did a little research and <laughs> I can't wait, man. Let's forget it, S -s screw all that talking. Got my little um, fake unbox knife here. All right, cut that. Oh, I can't wait to get in here. Woo. Hey guys, I was, I was so excited. I can't find my regular knife, so I'm gonna use my wife, wife's kitchen knife. Hopefully she won't show up while I'm doing this. I want my address to show up, it's still on the box, but oh, just forget it. Beast mode, beast mode. Okay. <laughs> All right, this item is called, I'm just gonna pull it out of the box. I'll let you see. See if I can get it. So slide out. We'll turn upside down. And drum roll, please. Okay. All right. What we have here, guys, is a product called the Dino Trap. All right. And the Dino Trap is supposed to basically kill insects without any um, electricity being shocking them, um, without any aromas, without any uh, any kind of poison being sprayed, anything like that. Now you do have to plug it up, but what it's supposed, supposed to do, it has a ultraviolet light that attracts the insects and it has a little warmth to it. So when they come near it, you know, like a, to, a moth to the flame, like they say, they come to the light and they get sucked into this chamber and it's a fan continuously spinning and they can't get out. Right. Up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. I'm being careful with it, guys. Just in case I got to send it back. I don't want to send it back broke, but let's pull these items out of here. All right. Now, this is supposed to cover... Um, literally, they say half an acre, and this is the small one. Actually, I, I have two. I ordered a big one, and I got the small one here. Now, I don't know what all this stuff is in here. First time opening up, but you get that. Let's take this out bag. Okay, bag is tied in a little knot right here. <laughs> I'm excited. All right. And guys, this unit is not heavy at all. It's real light. So this is what you get in the bag. You get this. You get a book here. Um, it has a couple of some tools. I don't even know what they're for, but some tools. And this right here. So let me let me clear the countertop off so we can look at it a little bit more.
Okay, y'all, for next. <clears throat> Let me show you. This is what you get when you get the small one. Now, the big one pretty much comes with the same thing except for this. All right, you get a hanging chain. All right, you use this chain to hang it from a uh, ceiling top or whatever you want to hang it from, a tree, anything like that. All right, you also get this little brush, and this little brush is used just to when you're emptying the basket, and I'll show you that later on. You use this to kind of sweep away the insects that may collect on the inside against the, the mesh inner line. All right, you get this little bag of screws. Now, this does not come with the big one. It only comes with the small one, because I'm assuming because of the weight. Now, these screws and those little, uh, I forget what you call them, that they screw into, they go to this, all right? And this would actually go up against a wall or it actually would go up against a tree, all right? And it actually hooks on to that, and I'll show you that later, um, so it can hold it. You get this, basically tells you how to register, and I advise everybody to register. You get a one-year warranty, does not cover the bulb. Uh, for a year, but you get a one-year warranty on the product itself. Uh, some caution information. You get this paperwork tells you how to open it. Uh, little other small information right there. See that? All right. And this is the, the owner's main. All right. And you get this. Now, I want to explain this. Okay, guys, like I said, this thing does not kill the mosquitoes. What it does, it traps them inside of this right here, and they die off naturally because they don't have any blood or anything to feed them. All right, so over a period of time, they'll die off, but they get collected in there. That light and the heat from it draws them in. And there's a little fan that sucks them down into there a little trap and it just collect in there and eventually it die off. Now the big one holds, from what I can see, three times the amount the small one can hold. Alright, but they saying change it weekly for this one. This one you may not have to change it with every three to four weeks. Alright, and the way it works, over a period of time in your lawn, when you start collecting all those mosquitoes, you disrupt the way that they lay their eggs. So if, you, if you're trapping them and you're killing them, they don't lay eggs. Eventually your mosquito population in your yard starts to go down. Okay, yard fanatics. And look, I just want to show you what it looks like. This is the small one, all right? On and off button is right there. Click it on, click it off. All right, you got that bulb in there that attracts them. And the heat, somehow it's supposed to give off carbon dioxide and the mosquitoes will come to it. All right, the bottom literally just turn it and it detaches like that. You sit that flat. And those bugs, they accumulate down there. The fan pushes this down and sucks them down in there. So they can't come out. And when you cut it off, it, the flaps will come back up like that. Okay, you are finesse, and look, when you, you wanna take this off, this part right here, you just kinda of pull up on it like that. That'll come off. This is where your bugs collect. Like, go back to that broom, that little sweeper. When they get in here and some of them may get stuck on that, you just simply take the broom and just brush, it, brush them out. That's basically all you do right there. All right? And once you get them accumulated, you just take a bag, one of those little Walmart sandwich bags, pour them in there, tie the bag up, and throw it away. Now, if you want to reassemble, you take that. And there's some little guideline notches right there. You simply just stick it back in there. Kind of push it down and make sure it snaps in on the small model. Take this part right here. And you know, I try to get this closer so you can see it has little notches going around it. Take the bottom piece. 
and you, you'll see it lock in and you screw it one more time just to make sure it's locked in. Now you wanna turn it on and I'll show you that. It's a little, I gotta, maybe have to get it closer, but it's a little button right there. You see it? Okay, that you click on and off. I'm gonna click it on. You see that? See a little light? I get it closer. See a little light? And maybe you can hear that fan, but those mosquitoes, flies, moths, hornets, go in here and once they fly close they get sucked down into the death chamber okay now the bigger one a little bit different and guys this material material is like how can i see it this part is plastic down here this is plastic that's plastic this feels like some kind of lightweight metal it feels plastic, but it is kind of made out of some type of metal material. This part is metal, this part is metal. You see they got the hook where you can hang it. Now, this one is a whole lot heavier than the small. Keep that in mind. All right, same thing here. You unscrew this part and let me show you. Make sure you got the power turned off. I'm trying to be gentle with it. But you basically twist this. See how it came off? Sit that down. Same. Okay, same way here. This one, it doesn't snap in. It just lifts up and down. But you can see the little guide notches right there on the side. See those guide notches right there? Same thing, fan sucks. Kind of goes in like that. Once it fills up, or whenever you want to clean it, you just take that lid off, and you'll take your brush, same thing, clean that off, if the mosquitoes start to pile up on it. Just kind of sweep that off, and then fall down in there. Take that, dump it in a bag, tie the bag up, throw it away. Remember guys, this is not killing them. They die, they're dying off naturally. No chemicals, they're just being starved to death. So when you do change it, you still may have a few that's alive in there. Bear that in mind. Do not bring this in the house and change it. Do it on the outside. Because if you have a few of them still kind of alive, you don't want to do it in the house and a bunch of them fly. But eventually, they, they die off within three or four days after that. So same thing. Assembly is easy. Let's take that. Put it back on there. Take this part, sit it on top. And make sure it's lined up right. And you just screw it in to lock it. It's a little harder, but that's it. No, okay, oh, try that again. Okay, now it's locked in. All right, I'm gonna turn this one on for you. On and off switch. The button here. See that? I want to get a little closer so you can see it. See that light up, that bulb in there now. Bear in mind, these bulbs will eventually blow. You're going to have to replace them. Um, that's not covered under the warranty. I think it's covered for, maybe, I think, don't quote me on it. You have to read it 60 or 90 days, but after that, if it blows, you have to buy them. You can order them directly from Dino Trap. Um, they have the price in the instruction manual. Okay, and if you were wondering how much does it cost to run them a day, this one is roughly about three cents a day in power. The big one is roughly about 10 cents a day in power. It could go you know, up or down based on just how much it, it's pulling but it's estimated at three cents a day and the big one 10 cents a day so in a week's time you're looking at what 70 cents and it's four times 70 it's two dollars and 80 cents a month to run that um 10 months 28 dollars 
um, 12 months roughly with about 30 bucks a year to run that. That one right there, three cents a day, uh, 21 cents a week. Um, what's that a month? About a dollar or something. So you're looking at about you know, 12, 13 bucks a year to run that one. So together, I'm looking at roughly about $40 in electricity to run it. Now, where I'm at, I'm in Georgia. So when winter comes, more than likely, I'm, I'm going to put them up. And you need to save your boxes. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So all your packing material, the bag, all that stuff, save it. This is part that goes to the small one. So if you want to put them up, because the temperatures may get so cold that I'm not sure if those motors are going to handle freezing temps. And by that time, you're not going to have mosquitoes anyway, or flies. Um, now, if you're off the coast, maybe Florida, uh, you know, Hawaii, some place like that where it's warm all the time, then yeah tropical region you may have to run it 24 hours they say run it 24 hours seven days a week the only time you cut it off is to empty it that's how you decrease the mosquito population like i said this is not something that you sit there and mosquitoes just zoom zoom air all over it takes time for these things to work the way that they supposed to work but if you're cutting it on and off cutting it off at night you're not it's not working the way it's supposed to So, okay, you are going to ask, like I said, this was more or less an unboxing, and I want to show you these products. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited because I just, I, I, I love technology, love technology. So, I just want to show you these two particular things. Now, I will be doing a full review video on these two um, probably in the next week or so. I'm going to get work them, them work that do that magic for about a week. And we'll check back on them, okay? And like I say, guys, if you found this video interesting, guys, please hit that like button. That like button means a lot to YouTube and me, all right? So if you like what you saw, hit that subscription button, guys. Ding! That notification bell. Every time BYD uploads a video, you will be notified by YouTube. Once again, you're tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. This is Michael Bowman, and I'll talk to you soon. So, okay, you are up in there. Look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit this one out here on the uh, back porch. And these things come with a 10-foot cord. I'm going to sit this out here. Hopefully, it's cord to reach. See. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it right here, and uh, I'm gonna leave it out here for a week, and we'll just see how it goes. Uh, somebody was asking me what's the decibels on that thing. Now I kind of I got a little decibel thing, and I got about ten about 10 decibels so that's not loud at all it does you, you i don't know if you can you can hear the fan going but it's gonna be interesting guys it's gonna be interesting